Hey there, I'm Han. And I'm Kat, and we're Broods and Reviews. Welcome to day 29 of the Spring To It Videothon, which we host with... Danny Buxton, Brooke Clark, Christina's Journey, The Story, and Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. I can't believe we're almost over. I know. Like, we're so close to the end. It's mental. It's been hard work, really but hard work. worth it very worth it. We hope you guys think it's been worth it as well, like, yeah. or we hope you're just not sick of our faces yet. <laughs> Today's prompt is our prettiest and ugliest books. So we've got a range. Yeah. To be fair, most of mine are pretty, most of Tats are ugly, so we're just gonna do it like that really. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, because I read so many different things, yeah. like, crime thrillers, not known yeah. for lovely covers, you know, like, also just most adult books, not really known for yeah. lovely covers. I feel like people who do YA book covers, they, they like know that something that is going to attract their readership is yeah. an attractive cover. So I feel like that's partly how this has worked out this way, but I mean, you'll see. So the first worst cover that we're going to talk about is... Uh, <clears throat> Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. Like, I'm, I'm not being funny, but this is like CGI yeah. shit. Like, oh, it's bad, guys, it's bad. Come on. Like, it really is. Really, really, like, I can't, I can't even talk about it. It is that bad. The cover is obviously two, these two Gorgons and some kid that looks like he's been molested for about 12 years. Don't get me wrong. It is... You know, in, yeah. Depending on what happens in the book, but it's awful. It's like done in such a way that it just looks like some someone's first DIY graphics project. Yeah. That they've just like taken some badly rendered pictures and like photoshopped them in such a weird way. Like, like I'm sorry, it's not good. Do you know what? As well, that's supposed to be Percy. No, it's not. It is, it's Why is he bald? Supposed to be Percy. He's like, it looks like he's had a shaved head and I know. like, it's supposed to be Percy. I was like, I wonder who that could be because he doesn't look like Percy at all. I know. Exactly. Well, that is some sadness. He generally looks like a convict. He does. <sighs> hmm. However, the good news is, as the series continues, the book covers get better. This is the last one, The Blood of Olympus, and. It's so much more prettier, and even the Magnus Chase Chronicles and the Kane Chronicles, they're so much nicer, and the Trials of Apollo. Yeah. All of them are so much nicer. They're a lot prettier, but, like, I think, don't know, there's nothing particularly special, but it's so... Do you know, I like it. I think it well, yeah, I like pick it, it up. But, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it isn't like, bam, yeah. but it shows kind of, if you know the story, it shows what the story is about and it makes it like it's, I don't know, I can't explain it because you haven't read it. Uh, yeah, But Sorry. basically I just really like this cover, I think, compared to them anyway. You yeah, know, oh god, well have, anything is better than that. Yeah, <laughs> they've got so much better which is great. So the next book is a book that's made me have to put my brew down because it's such a chunker and that is Under the Dome by Stephen King. This is a book I have not read yet. And it's probably because of this ugly ass cover. And it's huge. Yeah. So your like, tiny hands won't be able to hold that. I know, right? I'm there like, I'm there like, <laughs> <laughs> So, this book was given to me as a gift by my parents because I loved the first TV show, like, first series of the TV show. And I was like, I need that book. So they got it for me. And then I looked at the cover and I was like, why is there an old man? Why is he staring into space? What does that have to do with anything? I don't think it has to do with anything. It doesn't. It's just ugly. Poor old man. I'm not... No offence to this poor old man on the cover. I'm sure he's lovely. <laughs> like, what has it got to do with anything? What were they thinking? This book, the premise of this book, is about a town that is encased in an invisible dome. And no one can get in and no one get out. And everything goes to shit. And that's interesting. Do you know what would have been better if they had had literally a picture of the Simpsons 
right? The Simpsons movie. Mm -hmm. They're just, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that. There is another cover, in all fairness, which is a TV show tie-in that has the dome and the town, and I feel like that's a much better cover than this. Random man. Oh my god, right, tangent. So, it's just reminded me, mm -hmm. when we did that bookish Pictionary with Frankie <laughs> from FK Vlogs, we went round the house and we just had a really fun day, and you chose this book. Yes, I did. So she started drawing it and, you know, she drew like a town and like a dome. And me and Frank were just looking at it. And we were like, and I was like, they look like that under a dome. And there's my face like. <laughs> and me and Frank were still like sat there like. And then all, it came to us both at the same time. And we were like, oh my God, it's under the dome. Thankfully, we got <laughs> half a point each because it, like that, it we did. got it straight like, away. It like that. But... Um, but it was just so funny how none of us got it, even though I'd said that. We still sat there thinking like, ah. <laughs> But yeah, it was just, it just reminded me of that. And I tell you what though, you wouldn't have got it if I'd drawn this old man, would you? No, I wouldn't. Ugly. The old man's not ugly, but the book cover is. Another book cover that is just beautiful is The Lonely is Going in the Universe by not that you actually understood the word. No, I didn't. I was like, the little is going to the universe. <laughs> Clearly, we need to stop filming. It's been a while. We've been long filming today. Another book that I think is absolutely beautiful is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. And if only I had bought this in time for the cover buys because this was a cover buy. Yeah. Like, I saw it and I was like, that is so pretty. And I'd heard a lot of people talking about it anyway on BookTube. And so I read the back of it and I really like the sound of it. It basically it sounds like there's a girl and she's the only surviving passenger of an airship going to a different planet. And then all of a sudden she starts getting messages from another spaceship that's just come from Earth or something. And I think they get talking but I think something's not right. Mm -hmm. That's what I gathered. I, I haven't read it yet. Um, but it actually sounds really promising and the cover is just so pretty. Yeah, like, it it's is. It's really gorgeous. nice. So, yeah, I can't wait to read this at some point. So, the next book with the ugly cover is The Left Hand of Dark Blah, blah, blah. See, it's not just me. No, not you. No, not you. So, the next book with an ugly cover is The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin. Now, I've heard a lot of great things about Ursula Le Guin. Have I read any of her books? No. I have this one because I was in a sci-fi class in university and I didn't read it. And you know why I didn't read it? Because of this cover. Because it does nothing for me at all. I mean, it's rather ugly. Like, I, I don't want to diss anyone's art style right, but it's bland and boring and why could it not be something more interesting that was going to make me look at the book a bit more and be more into it. I don't even know what it's about. Couldn't even tell you. I think it's a sci-fi book, obviously, because I did it in a sci-fi class, <laughs> so I would hope it was a sci-fi. That's literally all I know about it. I've heard she creates amazing worlds. Mmm. Good cover, though. A book that I think has got a lovely, lovely pretty cover is The Christmasaurus by Tom Fletcher. I mean, it's just really cute. It and is. the dragon is just gorgeous. Ugh! Like, I really can't wait to read it, but obviously I've now got to wait for Christmas mm -hmm. to read it. Because um, I missed out, obviously, well, I got it for Christmas this year. And it was, it had been Christmas, so I couldn't have read it then. So I've got to wait until next Christmas. But the cover is just so cute. I love the artwork. And, you know, there's artwork all in it. I was just holding the book upside down. <laughs> there's artwork in it, and it's just lovely. So, yeah, I can't wait to read this one. I think it's going to be really, really cute. Yeah. Okay, now we're on to the bad crime thriller section <laughs> of bad covers. No, I don't mean bad crime thriller, but I mean like it'll be a good crime thriller, I'm sure, because all of this person's works are. But whoever did this round of cover art, they need their eyes checking, because like it's truly, truly terrible. That is Unnatural Exposure by Patricia Cornwell. Now, can you tell me what's happening here? Can you? Can you tell me what this is? Because it took me quite a long time before I could figure yeah. out what it was. And you actually have to turn the book upside down to figure out that this is a boob. 
<laughs> and this is a belly button. And this is a lady, apparently. Um, it's ugly as fuck. Like, why that is... Bleh. It doesn't make me want to read it. It, like... It doesn't... There's nothing about it that is making me go... Ooh, I want to read that. What's making me want to read it is that it's part of the Case of Garpetta series, which I already like. So, of course, I'm going to carry on with it. Didn't realise I've already got another copy of this book, because... With a much nicer cover, because I didn't actually equate them as the same thing, because this was so fuck ugly. The next books that I think are really, really pretty are the Penman and the End of Day series. And that is Angel Form, World After, and End of Days. And I just really like the cover of them. Like, you know, some of it's a bit shiny and then some of it's quite matte and I just really like it. It's, as well, it goes with the books, like, well, with the story uh, of what's obviously being told. And I don't know, I just, they're simple but kind of beautiful. Yeah, I agree. And that's what I like about covers. They don't have to be bam in your face, they don't have to be all colourful and all that. As long as they are enough to think wow or yeah I want to read that or yeah. you know that that can kind of tell what the story is and it's like yeah I'm going for that and I think these do a perfect job of that. Okay, last ugliest book. Last and ugliest because this one is the cream of the crop <laughs> of the ugliness. Now you know how we were just talking about um, unnatural exposure being really ugly? Same series, uglier cover. Point of Origin by Patricia Cornwell. At least with the other one, we after a while we managed to figure out what the cover actually is. On this one, we still don't even know. I feel like this is hair. Yeah, I, but maybe that's like a log on fire. But like, eh? So it, it, why is it green? So is she in the fire? I'm guessing she's dead. Because most people usually are in this, but, like, who knows? Uh, just ugly. Ugly. Maybe once you actually get to it, you can enlighten us on... No, I've never been able to do it before. On ones that I've read that are really? of this cover, I've been like, what does the cover have to do with anything? Oh, wait, have you read this one? No, I haven't read this one, but, like, I, I read um, Body of Evidence, and I had, like, this cover of the series because I picked them up from a charity shop. Really? I didn't know what the hell had to do with anything. It didn't look like the book. I was like, what is this? Oh. Who's put these random collection of objects together and gone, yeah, that works. The last pretty book that we want to talk about is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is just so pretty. It is. And it's a great book. I haven't got to any more of the series yet. I'm sorry, Faye. We will. We will get to it. We will. We will. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so pretty. Um, it is the first book in the Grisha trilogy, which is kind of a Russian-type world yeah. where people have these sort of elemental powers, and um, that's what Grisha are. And there are elements of the story that appear on this cover, like hence these antlers that are coming up here. Yes. And obviously you've got like the Russian based fantasy worldness here. And do you know what? I just like the darkness and the swirls. Yeah. Because it just visually sucks me in just the way that like some of the characters in this book do. I've seen other covers of this book as well mm -hmm. and they're all equally beautiful. Yeah. They're all really, really pretty. So yeah, this one had to be on this list. So there you have it. Those are our ugliest covers and our prettiest covers and that's, we've given you our explanation. There's no more to say. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other host's videos. I'm looking forward to seeing the pretty covers, not yeah. so much the ugly covers. I wonder if anyone's got anything that can quite match Point of Origin. Was it Point oh, of Origin? Hiccup. Hiccup. So if anyone can beat Point of Origin for an ugly cover, I'll give you a virtual Um, if you've done this video, please leave it down in the comments below. Yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.